so loud. I feel like that's just my intro now when I start streaming is, oh my god, this is so loud. Well, anyways, it's now a lot better. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Let's adjust this a little bit. Welcome back, of course, to Fire Emblem 12. Unfortunately, last time we did uh, die <laughs> in a very unfortunate way. But as you can see this time, we have different save files. Basically, I've mentioned this for a while now that I had planned to um, get the DLC and a new... Yeah, we can play on, as you can see, we can play in Lunatic Plus now. So we have a save file that's beaten the game, which means we get to play in Lunatic Plus, and we have merged... Uh, classes so hypothetically that means that you can like make anyone become any class which is cool i'm not gonna be doing lunatic plus because i can't even do lunatic obviously but it is available and then also we have the dlc which i think doesn't matter until you actually start like post prologue but either way so that should be cool now what do we want to do for our character i feel like i do have a really good understanding of how to get through it with uh, a cavalier so we could just run Cavalier again. I think that's always a good option. I kind of want to try something else. AVG fan, welcome, welcome. Um, what other options are there? Could just do Cavalier again. I'm not opposed to that. Yeah, maybe I should just do Cavalier again. I feel like I understand Cavalier pretty well. And it gives us a really good unit for, for like the actual game. Yeah, let's just do Cavalier again. Um, what do we want to name? What's a good Cavalier? We did Maclov, we did Seth, we did Marcus. We can't do Titania because we can't make female. Um, are you? I'm good, I'm good. We did Oscar. He's a good Cav. Here, let me do this. Can do Finn. Can do Finn. Could also do Franz. You do Franz. You do Franz. Do you like playing cards? Like um. Well, I, I still like, I play, uh, I play Magic the Gathering, like a physical card game. Um, yeah, I still play that. Not as much as I used to, but I still play that. If you're talking about, like, like playing cards, like, uh, like poker and stuff, I, uh, I mean, I like playing poker, but I haven't played poker in, a, in quite some time. Hey, Matt, welcome, welcome. Yeah, let's do Franz. I don't think we've done Franz yet. So let's just do Franz. I believe in Franz. But this is good. We're gonna be locked in this stream. We're gonna we're gonna beat the prologue. We're gonna get really far, and it's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. Uh, what's a good friends? That's actually pretty good for friends. It's kind of generic -y here. Kind of that, I guess. Maybe just, that's probably fine. And then make it, it's like yellow. Yeah, like that, that's perfect. And then, uh, what kind of eyes do we want? Fine, whatever, that's friends, good enough. Good enough for me. Okay, I think I'm gonna go with the same thing. Again, I feel like we understand, if I just do the same thing on Cav, I feel like we understand it really well. So, again, we're gonna go Noble's Child. And we're gonna go strength, which is. Am I blind? Oh, diverse. And then plus defense, which is humanitarian. Human. Okay. Okay. I think I'm even gonna turn off the animation for some of this. Just so we can get through it. Assuming this will look the same that it always does, yeah, should be good. I feel like we understand the prologue pretty well at this point. I don't want to like, I don't want to go too fast because it is still kind of complicated and I don't want to lose people, especially if I'm not paying that much attention to the combats, but... 
Is strength be the strength option? No, strong is HP. Strength... I think it's because it's strength and magic, but... Strength is, uh, orphan. Whereas... Well, it's weird, it said strong, but HP is actually Farmer's Child. I think some of them, like, the translations are a little weird. Oh, no, 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 for, for present, yeah. Strong is HP. Yeah, strength is diverse, strong is HP. I think it's because it's, it's, strength is tied to magic, they're both the same, so it's not just, uh, strong. It's gotta be diverse. Okay, no defense, or luck. Okay, well, <laughs> whatever, who cares? <laughs> the nice thing about calves, you don't really have to worry too much about that. That's a good level up, for sure. Him getting, I believe it's if we get two speed before chapter three, then that's really good for us. Something like that. I can't quite remember. Okay, and unfortunately Ryan gets attacked here because he does have two crit on Ryan, so... Very ironic, yeah, it's a little weird. A little wonky. Whack this guy. Yeah, the great thing about going Cavalier is that you can actually take two hits. Again, the really annoying thing about this in this chapter is if if he attacks Ryan and you can't take two hits, that's when things are really awkward. But the great thing about a cab is that you can take two hits, so as long as we don't get an unlucky miss, we should be chilling here. Impossible. Okay, we don't need magic, but that was a very good level up. And yeah, him going to 11 speed means is really good, because it means he's going to double for a lot of this uh, this prologue. That's that's really where you want to be, so. And the defense is great too, of course. In fact, he'll double here. Yeah. It's, I mean, I could attack him, whatever. I see. But doubling on the next chapter would be really nice. He even doubles the mercenary on the next chapter now, which is really cool. That's what getting 11 speed does. You really just need one speed in the first two level ups. Okay, so the positioning here is, if I remember correctly, you here, you here, and you here. Ooh, I wonder if that miss matters. I don't know. I feel like it probably won't, but that was kind of an unfortunate miss. I probably didn't need that damage, though. 19 minus 6. Okay. So I need to kill this guy. And you don't die, right? 6 speed, no. And... Okay, I need to vulnerate with both. 14, yeah, so, okay, so let's do this, so take the vulnerary and use it, and then, ah, I guess this is a little awkward. Do you kill? I guess you can just use his vulnerary, right? You don't need to use the same vulnerary. Yeah, this is fine. And then I should be able to kill here, yeah. Yeah, being able to double is really nice. If you can't double, this is a little bit awkward because you have to kill one of these guys, but the fact that we double makes this really, really easy, which is nice. Looking good. Jesus, these have been some nuts level ups. They haven't got a lot of defense, which is a little sad, but yeah, who needs it when you're getting that those kind of level ups? Alright, give me the sword. Great crit, very necessary. Love to see it. Okay, now I need a lance. So give me the lance. You can have the sword now. We'll just we'll just need a lance for the next chapter, so. I wonder I don't even get doubled here. Wow. I don't know if I've ever had I don't know if I've ever had a, a cab be this fast. He's three for three on speed, and we gave him the plus two speed. 
He's pretty much the fastest he can be. Irony of strong not giving strength. Yes, I, I understand that irony. <laughs> That's a oh my god. The, okay, these level ups have been absolutely outrageous. I don't think we've we've whiffed once. We've gotten speed four times. That was our I think our first defense, but still. Uh, we want to say yes, right? I'm feeling better about the prologue, but not so good to the point where I'm willing to do uh, George's. Yeah, it's definitely yes. I don't know why I always have to check this. I know it's yes. I've done this so many times. Okay. I wonder if I'm even... Wow, I'm even... I'm so fast. This is the first time we've ever seen this. I'm so fast to the point where Athena cannot double me. That is outrageous. It does mean I'm going to double these guys. Is that a problem? 14. That is actually a little bit sketchy. Yeah, the, the problem is I'm actually too strong. So, can I- I can't take all these, right? 10 plus 10, no. Okay, we need to kill one of those guys. So I need to do this. Yeah, I've, I've never had uh, a Cav be this strong before. But yeah, it's bad because we actually kill too much. Don't crit. Okay, nice. This is kind of bad. Yeah, it's, it's like I have too many units, you know? Um, okay, we're gonna have to get like, Luke get attacked here for a second. Yeah, that's a little bit bad. I suppose, can this ever be bad? I mean, Athena doesn't double me, so this shouldn't be bad. We gotta be a little bit careful here. Oh, he still attacked Ryan. That is surprising. We should be good here, because I'm pretty sure that Athena will move second. But she doesn't double me. Yeah, yeah, we should be okay. Yeah, that was a little bit sketchy. We've never had it to the point where Franz, or, or uh, Chris, not only was fast enough to double the soldiers, but also strong enough to one-round them. But the great thing is, not only was he strong enough to do that, but he was also strong enough to uh, not get doubled by Athena. Embarrassment of riches, yeah. This has been an absurd... Uh, an absurd Chris at this stage. Very lucky. But again, it's almost kind of bad in a way. Because you got to be extra careful with uh, who he can actually attack. See if he gets speed again. Okay, no speed, but we got the rest of the stats. Yeah, this is absurd. I will double the mercenary, but there's only one mercenary, so it should be okay. I don't think there's any way I die here. Is there a blessed avatar? I believe. I believe. And we also, like I said, um, we have the uh, the DLC items now. So not only does that mean that we're going to get... We're going to get a shop where we can buy some cool stuff, but it also means that we have merged classes, which means we can have any anyone become any class, which is going to be important because it means we're going to have access to general, where we didn't last time. So this is all post-prologue stuff, but yeah, some pretty exciting stuff. That was kind of a bad level up, but that was his first miss. Rainbow Potions? Yeah, I think so. I don't actually know that much about what the DLC provides, but... Whatever, like, people normally use this game, like, where they play with the DLC, we, we now have access to, so... But I'm not an expert on what that, what that entails. Okay... So we're gonna do the same thing we always do... Two, three, four, five, six. Okay, which is you go up here. Uh, where's my sword? You go here. And then one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. But yeah, we may have access to rainbow potions. No crit? Okay, nice. I'm always a little bit worried that Athena will crit there, because if she does, it's really bad, but she didn't, so we're okay. Americ. Use. Oh, it's 99 uses? Oh my god. That I didn't know. That's absurd. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So I can do this, and the rice gets attacked. 
two, three, four, wait. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, wait, that's bad. Okay, I need to... What do I need to do here? Here, Luke, you can have a kill. I need to make it so only that guy can attack Rice. Which is how it is right now. Yeah, so that guy can get to Rice. I also need to kill this guy. Ryan can't get doubled, so he shouldn't get attacked. So you can get to Rice, and you can't. Okay, I also need Seda out of here, of course. Oh, you still can't. Okay, no, this is perfect. Yeah, so you, so you attack him, and then this guy will attack, I guess, Luke? Yeah, that should be fine. 17. Yeah. Okay, should be good. How broken would Superman be as a unit? That's a good question. I mean, isn't Superman, like, pretty immortal? Pro probably pretty broken, I would think. Probably pretty absurd. I guess unless the all the enemies had kryptonite. But I would think pretty darn powerful. If I had to guess. Okay, so I just want to heal you and then... Nice. Decent level up. Rice's levels don't really matter. He's pretty useless when we actually get to the game. Because he just dies every time, but... Okay, so you're gonna go here... And then you're gonna go... Here. And then, same thing as we always do, we're gonna follow up with the other units, and we should be good to go here. Unless I'm, like, too strong, but I don't think we're, like, too strong or anything. Yeah, we should be good. The thief wouldn't double me anyway, so I don't think there's any way I would die. That just still affects him. I guess if, if Superman was just like impervious to physical attacks, but like really got really messed up by magic, but he'd still be pretty busted. So level up by chapter one. Yeah, I suppose, right? Because they have like 10 speed. That's a good point. Although honestly, last time I made Roddy into a um what do you call it? Uh, a healer. So I feel like Roddy is kind of kind of bad no matter what. But definitely the the ability to not get healed. The problem the problem with Roddy on chapter one is that they have like 30 attack. So even with a sword, like even not getting doubled, he would still need he would still need like a pretty big chunk of defense to not just die in one shot, you know. Like, the biggest problem with Chapter 1 isn't so much that you, you, uh, you get doubled, it's just that you get one shot, like most of the units. But maybe you could turn him into a class that would, that would make that better, I don't know. It's decent. Can't complain. But we'll get Roddy a kill here, because why not? Better than give me to Athena. Says it gets swept here. I know this is, I believe it's this spot where Rice is, is like technically a, uh, a forest. That's what people have said. I haven't had a chance to test it because the way I play this chapter, it never like, we never get into a situation where I'd be able to test it, but I've heard that, yeah, that, that tile is, uh, incorrect. Seems strength to speed. Yeah, it seems like he'd be pretty, he'd be pretty busted, I think. Just in the terrain data. Does it? I thought I checked it before and it didn't. Oh, maybe just on the bottom. Well, I finished the, ch I finished the chapter. Is it? Is it where I pointed out though? I I want to say that's where it is. Also, my webcam is hella blurry. As it is one to do. There's another one later apparently where there's a there's a mountain tile that's a plains or vice versa, 
I think it's on chapter uh, chapter three or something like that. I remember where? I know that the the place that I pointed out where Rice was standing. That's what people have said in the past. I think it's there, but okay. This is the choice between Agma and Agma and uh, Drog. So I think we have a really good we have a really good plan for Agma now. So I think I'm gonna go Agma. The benefit of doing Agma is that Agma is a much stronger unit, so. But I think I have a pretty good idea of how to do Agma. Especially with how strong our, uh, our Chris is. With how strong Franz is. Okay. So we're not gonna bring. I think I do want Ryan. Last time I did this without Rice. Or maybe I still did it with Rice. I think I did it without Rice. I think maybe... Last time I needed Ryan, but I, I think I might not need Ryan this time. Yeah, I think bringing Rice is good. Last time I brought Ryan because... Um, I, I really struggled to kill this guy. I had to shoot him with a bow. But this time we'll have... Like, Franz is way stronger than the last time. Because he'll be able to double. So, I don't think that I need Ryan unlike last time. Okay, so the plan here is basically... Oh, sorry, and I say that, and yet I'm bringing Ryan. Uh, the plan here is going to be the same as last time, so Merrick is going to go here, uh, Franz is going to go here. Here, give friends uh, a lance. And then Seda's going to be for support. I don't know what Seda's going to do. I mean, I suppose I could bring Ryan instead of Seda. Maybe that's the way to go. Seda's actually pretty good, though, once the archer dies, because she can actually take it. She can get doubled. It's probably good to take her. All right, let's do it. I think we have everything we need. Actually, hold on. Does Merrick have a vulnerary? That is actually... Okay. I don't know if this is necessary, but it can actually be pretty useful. So that's the one thing that I needed to do. Hi, Cecile. Okay, so Cecile's going to go here. Uh, Friends is going to go here. Yeah, make sure we're not using a steel sword. Actually, I can't even equip one. Because I don't actually want to kill. And then you take the steel sword... And then you go here and don't do anything, and then you go... It doesn't really matter. Okay. Again, barring any unfortunate crits, we should be good here. Nice. I didn't mean to skip that. Oh, well. Um, okay, so now... We're going to... I guess this is the one place where Ryan would actually be useful, huh? Because Ryan could kill this guy. I guess Seda could also do it. Seda has 7 defense. I don't want this guy to attack Seda. So Seda kill here. Then Athena kill here. Can I do anything? Can I like kill this guy? I can, but I take 12. Um. So Athena... Trying to think of what the best way to do this is. There's no way I can kill him, right? 16, yeah, no. Like, if I do this, I only take 8. Well, we should still be good, right? So I take 12 here, but as long as I heal, we should still be okay. Yeah, we should still be alright. Just kill him. Wait, I don't die, right? Hold on. 23 minus 10 is 13. 13. Oh, I actually do. Yeah. We may have to drop somebody here. Well, you need a vulnerary, obviously. Um... Yeah, I think I might have to just sacrifice Cecile here, which is okay. Because the problem is... My friends is too strong. Well, I think this guy attacks first, though, is the problem. Um... I can't do this right. 
Yeah, because I take 12, and then this is, what did I say, 13? Yeah, I only have 10 defense. Yeah, it's a little bit bad. I think I'm gonna have to lose somebody here. I, I guess losing Athena isn't the worst. Because Agma is just like a better version of Athena. So maybe that's not the worst. Poseidon won't get attacked. And Cecile can't do it. Yeah, this this is whatever. Whatever, it is what it is. I think I'm gonna lose Athena here. Yeah, that was kind of bad. Oh well, it's okay. We're gonna get Agma here, so it's not the end of the world. Yeah, I don't know, my positioning there was, I guess, just a little awkward. Um, I don't know how I did that differently. I guess with Ryan alive, you can like lure out with Ryan. I'm not really sure. Okay, can you guys kill together? So 12, yeah, probably, right? 12 plus 16, that yeah, should be enough. So losing Athena, other than not having Athena now for the prologue, the only thing that losing Athena does is I, it gives us less money, I think, when we actually start the game because we're gonna have we're gonna have lost a unit. Also, Athena is actually pretty useful for uh, the next chapter, so maybe it'll matter. Okay, perfect. Okay, should be good. Or sorry, not the next chapter. Two chapters from now, she's really useful. Yeah, I wonder, I, I gotta, I should actually go back and look how I got through that chapter in the past, because I don't know how you don't lose or have to put Athena in that kind of awkward spot there. I'm not really sure. Um. Okay, so do we want to try, do we want to do Est again, or do we want to try Kane? So Kane's, the problem with Kane's chapter is the archers are in really awkward uh, spots. I just really like S chapter, to be honest. I think I'm just gonna run Est again. So that's no, yeah, it's saying no. Okay. Yeah, no Athena might make the final chapter difficult. I don't know, we shall see. Yeah, one Agma. Ryan can come. Ryan, actually bringing Ryan here is not terrible because I actually kind of struggled to kill Est last time. So I think having Ryan will potentially be pretty useful. And we have the Steel Bow now. Uh, and you can have a Steel Lance. And I also have this one useful area that I guess Agma can have, maybe that matters. And you still can't use Steel Swords, which is kind of unfortunate, but it is what it is. Okay, so now, how do I want to do this? So you go up there. Actually, let's have you go up there. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, let's do that, and then something like that. Okay, let's do it. Such a shame there's no javelins by this uh, until this point. But yeah, I want to do the very first time we did this chapter. I want to I want to run that back, basically how I did that. Because even though it was kind of an accident getting into the position that I eventually found myself in, it like worked pretty well. Okay, I can just heal you. Okay, so, although I don't have as much defense as I did last time, so maybe that won't be as good. I don't know. We'll see. Do I double? I do. But you probably do as well. You don't. Okay, good to know. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, okay. Yeah, again, like, I just feel like I understand the Est chapter. And, and Est, it's not like Est is terrible in the next chapter. Like, she is pretty useful. But, yeah, I, the, I just don't understand... Like, I could run the Kane chapter once or twice and try to figure it out, but it would require me to, you know, figure some stuff out. Okay, I would really like to... So, S doesn't move until next turn. This positioning is kind of awkward, huh? Actually, can you just kill this guy? Okay, that's perfect. Yeah, just kill this guy. And then I'm gonna do this. Cause this is what I did last time. And 
And then you die, right? 20 minus 8, yeah. Okay, that's fine. That shouldn't double me or anything. Okay. Okay, so how much do I take from S? 10 plus... Yeah, I should be good. So do that. And then there's going to be a cav coming from down here, but that's the only reinforcement we're going to have to deal with. Um, and then, yeah, Ryan, get ready, because he's going to want to shoot S next turn. And I guess you come up here, too. Maybe I'll need you. And I can always heal Seda next turn. Actually, maybe I need to heal him. Let's heal Seda now, just in case I need it. Ow. Yeah, I shouldn't get doubled here. I'm pretty darn fast. So now... So the only problem with this... Because you can't take this hit, right? Um... And you die, right? Because you get doubled. Yeah. I guess I can just make it so everyone that can attack her... I suppose I could just do this. I could just do like this, plus this. 21, minus seven. Oh, so Merrick dies as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so that should be fine. So then we just go like this. And then like... Him getting to me is fine, just not est. Okay. Okay, we should be good. Because I shouldn't get doubled here unless something really weird happens. And then, yeah, American getting attacked is fine because he doesn't get doubled. Okay. Now... I just need to kill est. So strong, as you witnessed the power of Ryan. Oh my god. Apparently I've also witnessed the power of Ryan. And then, sure, this, I just one-shot him, holy shit. And then, I just need someone to take a hit here. I suppose Agma will do. Yeah, I like that strategy. I feel like it's it's really it's it's a little more consistent than the other one. But the only problem with that strategy is that um, your your like character creator unit has to be really strong in order to do that. Like in, he needs to be strong enough to not only one around the archer, but also has enough like defense and HP and stuff to survive the like next turn with the archer and as. Um, which I feel like isn't that unreasonable to get to, but it, it is something that you have to be aware of. Okay. <laughs> Considering how good his level ups have been, I don't feel too bad about that, but... Okay. Last chapter of the prologue. Now again, we are going to have to do this without Athena, which is kind of unfortunate, and... Specifically, the last turn of the of the chapter might end up being a little awkward, but we'll see. We shall see. Okay, so basically, instead of Athena, I guess instead of Athena, I'll be bringing Ryan. It's not terrible. I mean, he can hit pretty hard. Does Agmo? So seventeen. I have thirteen speed, which is enough to double seventeen. Yeah, that's right. Agma is one short. So this is why Athena's so good, because Athena starts with nine strength, whereas Agma only starts with eight. So Athena can actually one round Kat uh, Katarina, whereas Agma cannot. Now, if I can get Agma a level, I can still maybe make that work if he gets a strength level up, but that's obviously a big if. Like, there's no guarantee about that, so. I could, instead of Ryan, bring Luke and try to get him experience. 
for chapter one. Maybe that's not the worst idea, because getting Ryan experience is like pretty whatever. Yeah, maybe I try to get Luke a couple levels here. That might not be the worst idea. I just need to find you weapons. Here, do that. Yeah, that should work. Ryan, I feel like, will be more useful here, but I actually wouldn't. Luke for the getting experience for the first level would be pretty nice. Uh, the positioning doesn't really matter. We're just fighting the two thieves, so let's do it. Oh, I should have done the, the conversations. Oh, well. Oh, well. Actually, no, I don't want your guys' range. I want your guys' range. Okay, so who is my lowest defense? Does anyone get doubled? Oh, they only have 12 speed. So seven defense. I think seven defense is going to be my lowest. Or actually, Luke gets doubled. That's important to remember. So Merrick will probably get attacked here. Because Estes has more defense and weapon triangle. So yeah, I think it'll probably be Merrick. That should be okay. Yep. But I don't get doubled, and then Agma. Again, this chapter is pretty simple. And the, the nice thing about this chapter, as opposed to the last time we did it, even though we don't have Athena, is that I actually have um, uh, heals. Unlike last time that I forgot, to, <laughs> I actually dropped the heals. So that'll be kind of nice too for us. Okay, I would like to get kills for Agma because again, if I can get Agma one strength, then he'll actually be able to kill um, Katarina, which might be relevant, I don't know. But that's pretty much it. We just want to wait for reinforcements. And that's pretty much going to be the rest of the chapter. Yeah, this guy, I believe you can actually attack. Yeah, that's the one that, the one that you can actually attack. The other one you can't, but it's okay. The next batch of reinforcements are really annoying because they all have hand axes, but these thieves are pretty easy to deal with. Okay, does Luke get one rounded by this guy? Not quite. That is good enough for me. Actually, where are the hand axe guys? Still pretty far away. <coughs> Actually, if Luke gets a point of uh, speed here, he might not get doubled. Although, does this guy have 14 speed? Oh no, 13. Ah, he still gets doubled. That's funny. So Luke will probably get attacked here because he gets doubled, but that's okay. As long as he doesn't get crit, he shouldn't die. Okay. Yeah, like I said, the Handex guys are annoying because they have two range. So they can often like sit in between the enemy range, which is pretty annoying to deal with, but it is what it is. Okay, I mean, that's a good level up. It's not that useful, but it is nice. Okay, go over there, I guess. I don't think Luke will get attacked, but maybe. Uh, who wants this kill? Just friends, I guess. It's probably fine. So America's really low defense, so he'll probably get attacked here by this guy, which is perfectly fine. And then... Oh, I should have used the lance. Yeah, oh well. So who can you all attack? Luke on the throne, 17. But these guys are really... Oh, can you also attack Luke? Oh, you can. So I guess I'll go like this and then like this. I guess S might get attacked by both. That's a possibility. But Seda's weaker, so... Here... Let's give them Seda as an option over here. Okay, I think that's the best I can do. Oh yeah, also Rice. Also, I forgot about Rice. But no, Rice is also totally fine because these hand axes are super weak. So he can actually live. Okay. This last thief is like kind of annoying because again, he's in the range of the enemies. But as long as we can kill everyone here and make sure that the thief only gets attacked. Or only can attack units that can survive, we should be good to go. I don't know if I really needed to heal him, to be honest. Sick level up. Love to see it. How 
much speed does this guy have? 13, yeah, so he does double me. Ah, that's unfortunate. Finding him a kill here is gonna be difficult. I guess he could kill this guy. Uh, I guess this is okay. Can Marth can take this, right? Is there any crits? Why oh, did he get doubled? Oh, I forgot. I forgot Marth has 10 base speed. That's actually pretty good. Okay, so then, yeah, you can get this kill. And then... I just need to kill this guy here. And then Seda needs to vulnerate. And then we should be good to go here. Okay. Then, yeah, we should be good at least for the first part. Strength! Ah, unfortunate. We got a point of res. I guess that can matter for uh, for Katarina. It won't, but uh, that's interesting. It's always interesting to get res in these games. I should have healed first just in case I missed, but whatever. Okay, wow, this loot, very nice. Getting very good level ups. It's definitely gonna be the strongest loot that we have um, when we start the actual game. Mage Killer Pogma, yeah. With our one res, love to see it. So now we can start luring these guys out. So I believe all of this overlaps. Res isn't a stat. It's it's not real. It can't hurt you. Uh, so I guess you can lure them out. I can actually use steel swords. Does anybody have a steel sword? Look at final prologue. I'm thinking. Look. I'm thinking further than the prologue now, okay? My, my plan is to think about the actual game, and I'm, I'm trying to use Luke a little bit here. Also, um, Athena died, so I had a, I had an open slot. Normally we bring Athena here, of course. But yeah, I'm, I'm trying to think about the game a little bit. When it actually starts. Okay, we can do that, and then... Agma can survive this, right? It's like 18, I have like 8 defense, yeah. As long as I heal, I should be good. But yeah, I'm trying out Luke. Now, like I said, because we don't have Athena, it does mean that killing Katarina is going to be a bit difficult for us. So I don't, I don't know exactly how that's going to go. But that's a problem that uh, end of chapter me will have to deal with. Okay, I think no matter what, I'm going to have to lure this guy out this turn, but that's okay. Get you a kill. Very nice. Anyway. Head is so itchy, I don't know why. Um, I need to heal Franz. I should really get Franz a uh, steel sword. Uh, yes. Damn, this Franz is, yeah. I know I've said it a bunch of times, but he is absolutely absurd. Very, very strong. Maybe the strongest uh, generic unit that we've, or not generic unit, uh, like character creating unit we've seen in general. I don't know. He's got to be pretty far up there. He's really strong. I think you're going to be too strong, right? Yeah. I should have attacked with one of these two to begin with. Oh, well, it's fine. They can have the kill. I don't really care. Zeta's actually recruited not too long into the game, so maybe giving her levels matters a little bit. Probably not. I wonder if this will make the mages move, or if we need to lure the next guy for that. Probably don't need all these arrogances. It does, okay. Okay. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Let's back it on up. Two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Fortunately, everyone is pretty hurt, but that's okay. This is this this turn is the biggest reason to like recruit S and not Kane. And one of the biggest advantages to having the Pegasus Knights in general is you can fight these mages uh, really effectively. Okay. 
I mean, to be fair, at this stage, even if you had Kane and you couldn't one round the mage, which Kane honestly might be able to do, you can still kill them pretty easily. So I say that it's it's not actually that useful, <laughs> but it is kind of nice. Now that I know how to handle this chapter a bit better, it's it's not as useful as I thought that it would be, but still not a bad thing to have access to. Okay, again with the res, a little weird. A little weird, but we'll take it. I understand the effort at the very least. Okay, and then again, doing this final part is gonna be a little tricky because we, we, we can't do what we normally do where Athena just kills Katarina. I'm assuming um, Franz could kill Katarina, could one round Katarina, but Obviously, uh, we still need to kill everyone else, so... Let's get everyone healed up. Yeah, Luke's actually looking really strong. And then we'll go fight Katarina. Slightly better if I do that. Okay, everyone has full health. So... Let's worry about this. Maybe I should just lure them out. I don't double, right? They would need to have 11 speed, yeah. I suppose I could just lure out twice. So we go like... Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Yeah, maybe that's the way to go. Thirteen. I definitely take these hits, right? Hmm. I'm not really sure. Um. Can you take the hits? So this is like thirteen minus six is seven, and then twenty-three, and he loses weapon triangle. So that's twenty minus eight is twelve. I think Seda lives with one health, I think? Question mark? All right, well, let's do this. And then everyone else just kind of chill back here. He has a vulnerary, so he should be good. I think I'm just gonna, instead of taking just one turn to kill Katarina and the Thieves, I'm gonna take two turns. That's my plan. Cause that way I get I get a little bit more damage with, uh, with Franz here. triggers them. I think if you just go in the range of any of them, they'll all move. Oh, the Leaven Sword guy is actually kind of on his own. Okay, so... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay, so you need to go here and Vulnery. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Yeah, this is a little bit... I think we're okay. This is a little bit different than how I normally handle this, so I'm, I'm a little bit scared, but I think we should be okay. I get a little bit more chip damage too, because Merrick's gonna be able to attack that that other guy, so. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, it's because he's in front. Yeah, we should be okay. So I get a little bit of chip damage here, which is great. And then I'm gonna I'm gonna be able to kill a thief. It does mean that Franz is really hurt, which could be a problem, but. So now I just need to kill three thieves, which seems a lot easier. So can I heal you and then you kill this guy? 24? I don't think I can heal to 24, though. Yeah, see, this is the problem, is Katarina has 24 attack, which is absolutely absurd. How much can you do? That's pretty good. Yeah, that's really good. There's some sort of thieves. Did you just dare and watch to me? Oh, so you must have to, it's probably you have to be in range of like multiples. Yeah, that makes sense. A lot of the AI in this game works that way, which can be really annoying, but yeah. So, does Seda look any better? Is she any stronger? Not really. I need to kill this guy. Mm -hmm. I don't think I can back up again. I don't think that's really a winning recipe here. I guess he could kill this guy. Okay, let's start there. That's good. That's one person down. 23, so it's 20. Yeah, she just deals 8. So then... 
16 speed, he has 14. He has 13. Yeah, I don't double anybody, which is really unfortunate. Um, okay, I'll take my damage here, I guess. And then... Oh, you die. That's not great. The only problem is I'm going to end up losing S tier in this situation, because I can't kill... I guess I could use Merrick over there. Can anybody... I can't kill, though. So do that, do that, do that, then Merrick. Sixteen. I heal. I think I'm going to end up losing one more unit here at this rate, but I think I kind of have to. Let's see how this goes. I want to make sure that she hits both before I commit to anything else. Okay, that's good. Although I suppose I could... I gotta heal Merrick if I do that. I guess that's fine. Can you go all the way around? No. 14, yeah. I can't kill, right? I'm one short. That's a bummer. I think maybe there was a better way to do this chapter, but, you know. Or this, this turn, I should say. Okay, does that change anything? I don't think so, because I still can't get to... Well, maybe... Actually, that might. So you kill here. That might actually change something. I think we can actually keep everyone alive now. Because now, Agma can go here, and then... Marth can go here, and then S can't get attacked. Yeah, that should be good. Okay. Just clutching this with that crit, yeah. I mean, the only thing that would have happened if he didn't crit is we would have ended up losing S, which isn't that big of a deal, but... It, every person that we keep alive is money that we get when we start the game, so... Definitely, uh, definitely nice to see that crit there. Very good level up, my goodness. And then we'll grab Luke another kill on the way out. We should be good to go here. Not bad. Okay. A slightly worse prologue than last time because we did lose Athena, but, you know, can't complain too much. Uh, I keep the headband. I don't care. Whatever. If it'll make Cecile like me, then I should keep it. Okay. We'll prologue down. Okay, so, like I said before, uh, I did download, so now we can, I believe, yeah, so now the shop includes all of this stuff, like energy drop, spirit, and you can buy, I believe, one of all of these, which is really cool, and this is, again, because of the DLC, and because this is also a clear file that's like cleared the game once, we can become any class we want. So Aaron can become a general, which wasn't an option before. I think general is probably the only, a yeah, hero wasn't an option before. Uh, warrior wasn't an option before. I think hero, I think we can also become, yeah, berserker, which again wasn't an option before. So a couple new options for us, which is pretty cool. So if, if he becomes a general, he has eight speed, which I think doesn't get doubled. Yeah. And a general will give me 17 defense, so then I can actually take two hits, which is kind of nice. But yeah, so some new options for us, which is cool. I don't know how much this is going to help us. I think in the long run, it's going to help us a lot. I think for right now, obviously, I need to make other decisions. So general could be cool. Also, I feel like hero is just a better version of... Um, Swordmaster, so here it can be cool too. But the great thing about General is it actually lets us take two hits. Maybe even three. Yeah, I feel like General... General is honestly just always busted in, uh, in these games. It's just so insane. Yeah, I'm gonna go over to Hunter, because I think Hunter was pretty good last time. Um, Cecile, I, th I think Mage was pretty good, even though it, was, it wasn't great, but the ability to not have to attack is nice. Luke is also strong enough to take a hit, which is really nice. And then, yeah, I think Roddy... Roddy becoming a... Cleric, or Curate, I think. Or we could even have him become a mage, too. Is that better? What's better? On the 
corporate. Oh, you mean like in the in the middle? Yeah, that could be. Oh, I'll do curate. Can we bring everybody? We can, right? Yeah. Curate's nice because it means I can actually heal before I uh, encounter before I get the new character. Did I never increase the the dialogue speed? I don't know. Um, you're taking Iron Sword. And you can use bows too. General is just like so broken in these games. Oh, I did change it. So Aaron take a bow, and then I'm also gonna get a bow for Drog. Oh, I guess I have a steel lance. Does anybody want that? Can you use it yet, Luke? No, not yet. He can use a steel sword, though. Do I have a steel sword? I do. Dope. Uh, and then Cecile needs fire. I guess I'll get you a new fire. Now, we could buy um, these, like, stat boosters that are available in the shop, like I said. But, again, forging that bow for, like, Chapter 2 and stuff, I think is going to be really important. So, I'm going to refrain from buying this stuff right now. Maybe it's good to buy, maybe it would really help us. I, I don't really know, but... Okay, so I have 12 defense. So I think he actually might be able to survive multiple hits as well. But yeah, the fact that Luke can is going to be really nice. Alright, let's do it. Hi, Jagan. So yeah, how does J uh, Aaron look for these guys? Okay, so Aaron can only take two hits, not three. But that's still good. And then you, 15. 15, okay, so he can only take one. I think last time ours had slightly better defense and I could actually take two, but that's okay. So, you go over here. And then... Everybody else back up. So I want that guy to attack uh, him because it gives us the most damage back that we can get. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, if you go here, you should be good. Then I basically just want Aaron to fight both of those guys, and he should be good. There's no way he gets doubled. Eight speed is enough. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Uh, I guess back up. I guess use the Silver Lance, because I just want as much damage as I can get. It's probably the way to go. Okay, that's the best I can think of. Oh, I should turn on the animations, too. I only had them off for the prologue, because I just wanted to get through it really fast. But I'll turn those back on, too. Sick magic level up. We'd love to see that. Ooh, okay. I don't know if that miss will matter. Kind of unfortunate, of course. Everyone's so hurt. I don't know if I can kill... Uh... So the great thing about this... I'd have to kill this guy at range. I don't know if I can do that. 15... 15 plus 14? Yeah, I don't think I have enough. That's the problem. I guess Luke could kill that guy. But then I have to kill this guy and this guy. I can maybe do that. Okay, so 8... Plus 14. So then you would kill this guy. I don't know if this is gonna... I don't think I can kill the other guy. Uh, let's just start doing stuff and... I don't know. I'm a little bit worried. Because I need both of them. Well, no, I, I guess this works, right? Because then I get 8 damage here. I think this is okay. I think I think this just barely works. As long as Drog deals 10. Okay. He actually deals 13, so I can actually use this. Now, if we miss one of these, like, 88%, this is going to all go to hell. But as long as we don't get an unlucky miss here, we should be good to go. Because they both attack here, and then... I wish I had an iron bow. Okay, nice. 
I guess the one downside, 21 minus 17. Okay, so I can actually take the hit. Because the positioning was a little awkward, but I should be good. So then air detects there. So basically what we need to do is I need to heal you so that you can survive. And then he one runs this guy. You can definitely get there, right? So you one run this guy. Sure, whatever you however you want to do it. And then Luke can kill the final guy, and then everyone can take the hunter hit, so we should be good to go. Perfect. Okay. Hopefully the thief doesn't attack Roddy, although honestly I don't care that much. No offense, Roddy, but uh... Okay, he did not. I think he couldn't actually get there, even if he wanted to. The furthest is chapter... We failed on chapter 5, I think. So basically, until chapter 5, and it was like right away on chapter 5. So yeah, basically until chapter 5 is the furthest that I've made it. Our last playthrough lost on chapter 4. So, we made it just about as far, but couldn't, couldn't make it any further. But we haven't we haven't had access to like the DLC and the uh, the ability to like change into any class that kind of stuff we haven't had access to yet so that is something new that we're working with. So hypothetically, we should be in a better situation than we were. But... Okay, not bad, not bad. I'll take some more bulk and a little more speed. Martha's kind of in a situation where he's like, he's kind of borderline doubling. I guess a lot of these guys have 10 speed, but yeah. It's tough, you need like 13 speed or something to double consistently, which is just really hard to get to. Okay, <laughs> thanks for the strength. Like yeah, Luke's only a 10. Oh, someone should go stand on the uh, on the cave too. I want to get that boolean. Franz is obviously extremely fast, but he's kind of a unique uh, a unique case. Hello, welcome to the team. We could go Merc. Hmm, that is not a bad idea. I I did not. Uh, yeah, I didn't look at Luke's um. Class change options, but uh, that is a very good uh, idea. Uh, here, get rid of your, um, your Iron Sword, because I actually want that Javelin right now. But yeah, if, if Luke can still survive hits, which he probably can because his bulk is pretty good, and we can then start doubling, that would be a very good option. Turn Luke is valid. I mean, as, as long as... And I'm assuming that his, his uh, speed growth would probably go up to... We can always change him back later. But yeah, I don't think that's a bad option at all. Okay, so you said Aaron on the fort is an option. I feel like that's still pretty sketchy though, right? So 27, I guess I get one defense, so I'd actually have 18. So we're looking at, um, so nine plus nine, so that's 27. I guess if I use the bow, only these two can attack me. Nah, I still think that's sketchy. Nice. I think I'm gonna use the kiting strategy that I've been using with this, uh, with this part. So basically we want to go... And he definitely has vulnerabilities, right? Oh, he only has one? Okay. Make sure he has vulnerabilities, that's really important. And his health might actually matter here, so make sure he's healed. Okay. 
Actually, I might have to use I might have to use Aaron here because I don't think our I don't think our friends is strong enough. It's 27 minus 13 is 14. I guess if I use the sword, yeah, actually if I use the sword, I should be good. And he's getting each other's way. I, yeah, I think I think we actually could. So the problem is I think we could survive turn one. Like if Aaron plops himself down here, then he probably gets attacked by these two with the silver lances or silver axes. And then only one two range guy can attack him. So if we use like a bow, or we could we could be okay. But but then like Aaron's gonna be in a really awkward spot here. I feel like this is slightly better, but I, I could be wrong. And you definitely live, right? Twenty seven minus thirteen. Yeah, I should I should be good here. So basically, I'm just gonna go here. And then yeah, everybody else back up. I think I'm just gonna do the kiting strategy, but I, I can see that working. I feel like the, the thing about Aaron sitting there is you're gonna get into an awkward situation on like the following turn, whereas by doing it this way, I'm, yeah, it seems a little more consistent. Now, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so basically where Marth is, is where he's gonna have to be. And the good thing is, unlike last time, I actually bought a javelin this time, so I don't have to worry about frantically trying to get him a javelin. Now the question is, do I want to, do I want to kill next turn, or do I want to um, kite for one more turn? I don't think we need to kite again. I think we should be able, to, we should be good to kill next turn. So I don't think I need to back up or anything. It's funny if you look at their if you look at their map sprites, you can see how much health they have, and you can see if they'll get health in their level up, because it'll like it'll suddenly go up a little bit. You remember the remainders? So the the problem is neither of your your healers, because like you could sit him on the fort, right, and then he would have to take three hits, and he would live, but he would be really low. <coughs> and then you'd heal from the fort, and you could vulnerary, but I don't think you could use a healer because they're they're so weak, they both die. I don't know. I might be wrong, but it, it seems it seems sketchy to me. It seems like something that I would probably want to like test before I tried in an actual uh, playthrough. I don't think I'm gonna try desperately to train Cecile like I did last time. <laughs> Not that I think that really messed us up too bad in the end. I think that was, you know, some of my own uh, mistakes, but... I thought Cecile was really cool in theory, but the fact that, um... Uh, the fact that you just get Linda, which is just a better version of Cecile, like, so early... She seems a lot more pointless than I thought she was. I would also like to pick up one or two more javelins before we head out. Okay, let's start training his, his lance rank, because getting to um, uh, B in, uh, in lances is actually pretty important for later, the ability to use the silver lance. Okay, I'm just going to pick up, I think, two javelins. Maybe I only need one, but I'll pick up two. It's too base for good growth to matter, yeah. Very much so, especially the early game. This is definitely not a particularly growth-friendly game. It's very much bases. And, I mean, the thing about, like, everybody's bases are so... Everybody's growths are so insane anyways that it's like, who cares? That you have, like, kind of interesting, you know, mage growths. Like, here's a unit who's stronger at base and has much better, you know, the same growths or whatever. Bye-bye. We got Mend, which is actually pretty useful. Got Rebellion in Macedon. Hello there, friends. How is everybody? Ryan gets 30 experience. Marth gets 18. Luke gets a Luck Potion. And we get the Agma's Blade, okay. 
Out of all the potions we could get, well, last time we got skill, and both skill and luck are pretty worthless. I guess hypothetically, if we ever have to worry about, like, getting crit. Okay, so I think... So Aaron becoming a sniper, I think, makes a lot of sense here, because you can use the bow we're going to forge. And just being... Like, you can just use a steel bow and hit really hard, which is really nice. And then you wanted to see... Luke is a mercenary, which would give us 13 speed for Agum's Blade. Uh, I can check. I, Marth, maybe? I feel like this seems pretty good. 13 speed seems pretty good. He's still strong enough to be able to take hits. He only loses two defense. Yeah, I'm, I'm down to... Is Myrmidon better? Myrmidon's only better if we need 15 speed, which I don't think we need yet. So I'm, I'm going to go mercenary for now. I think that makes sense. Uh, well, I kind of bought the javelin for him, so now the javelin is just kind of useless. Oh well. It's fine. Yeah, what is Akma's blade? It's C? Mars has gotta be C. Oh no, only D. Yeah, nobody's good enough yet, but one day. One day. Okay, so... Aaron... And I like Sniper better because it gives him a high enough rank to actually be able to use the uh, the better bows. Hey, Marth, not quite yet. He's still D. Swordmaster Aaron. I think Sniper Aaron is going to be really good here, though. Oh, you mean so we can use the Agma Blade? Maybe next chapter. Um, okay, do we want to forge? How fast are these guys? 11, 10, yeah, there's no way I double. Damn, he's like just on the edge of doubling. Um, I'm trying to think if I can get away without forging the steel bow. But forging the steel bow seems like pretty crazy. Pretty crazy useful, to be honest. Like, I wonder if there's any world where you're actually supposed to, um, like, like if you gave Aaron a speed wing that you could buy from the from the armory and then just use a steel bow, he'd probably one round. Maybe then you don't need to forge the bow, but I feel like forging the bow is going to be so useful for like the entire game at this point. So. Okay, I want to see. So again, I think it's the same thing. Nine strength cancels out nine defense. So basically, I want to forge the bow to 12 might if I can. That's the plan. Last time I gave it 10 hit, I guess this time I only have enough for 6. Sure. I mean, I forged it to 10 hit last time and we it's, we still missed, so fuck it. <laughs> Nothing really matters. Yeah, good enough. Okay, and then I also want to buy you an iron, um, so you don't have to keep using that. The lady sword? Yeah. What am I doing? Yeah, don't, don't sell. Yeah, I'm not really sure how to get the Lady Sword, to be honest. I think that's just not really in the cards for us. I think, yeah, I'm pretty much of the mind in this chapter that you kind of just disregard the Lady Sword. Oh, um, Aaron should probably have a Steel Bow, because, well, he doesn't double. But he'll probably do more combat, so he should probably have the Steel Bow. Can France become anything cool? Like, he already doubles, so becoming a lot of these other classes doesn't really, don't really make sense. I guess a, a hunter that can double would be pretty cool. I guess I could... Like, Pyro would be kind of cool because we could start training the Axe rank, but we don't really need the speed, and it would, it would hurt his bulk quite a bit. And Iron Man. Oh, for getting, um, for getting the Lady Sword? Yeah, I'd love to hear it if you want to want to give it. I, I'm not really sure, like... I guess you could just push up really fast. Well, it's just moving favorably. Yeah, I think... So last time, last time I tried to get it because we had Aaron alive, and I basically had Aaron, like, skirt the left side as a Draco Knight to try to, um... to try to kill the thief, but the problem is that the soldiers, uh... I think one of the soldiers aggroed, and so did the Cavaliers. But I wonder if there's a way... 
to make it so that they don't aggro if you like if you keep other people closer to their range and then you can get the lady sword but that sounds really like particular you want the axe rank for honestly i don't know i just kind of said it <laughs> i was thinking that maybe later i'd want to make him into an axe unit but like it would help us if we become like a draco knight to have better axe but so just to comply yeah yeah, it reminds me of the, the Fire Emblem, uh, the Thracia chapter, where you want, you want to make, like, what's his face, um, the, the Myrmidon, like, move north, or, yep, yeah, no, move south instead of north, so you have to position yourself in a way where you're, like, um, Finn and, uh, Finn and, and what's-her-face are, like, just closer, it's, like, really tedious. It's not really that hard to do in that game, but yeah, it's, it sounds pretty tedious. Uh, I have a bunch of vulneries if I want to distribute those a little bit. I know somebody mentioned at one point that the uh, that the caps on like Berserker is really good, so I thought maybe at some point Franz would want to become a Berserker, but that's probably too far down the road for me to really be thinking about at this stage. We're just trying to get through these chapters. Okay, let's do it. This chapter hasn't been too tough for us. I really shouldn't say that, but... Accord. Uh, oh, I actually could have positioned Aaron a little bit better here. Oh, whatever. Um, don't do turn two or turn three. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, again, I think I'm just gonna disregard the Lady Sword. Like we were talking about before, I don't even really know what you would do with it, to be honest. Maybe there's some characters later that you could... Or like Cecile. A fighter triangle run? <laughs> you know, I was thinking that I, I at the time, because we had never recruited Barst, I wasn't sure exactly when you got him, but Barst isn't actually that deep into the game, so maybe I'll try. So the problem with recruiting Warren is that these soldiers can all target uh, Katria, which I don't love. This is the reason I usually wait a turn. I'll probably do that again. Yeah, let's just back up. I guess this guy can attack Aaron if he... Or actually, um, Franz is probably better. Well, they can both attack Franz. Can you live both? 21... I should be able to, right? It's like 8. Yeah, should be good. These are white wing calves. That could be good. That could be good. How strong is the Lady Sword? 12 might. 12 might is pretty ridiculous. It's as strong as a Silver Sword. I mean, that is cool. I just. I don't know. Like I said, last time I tried to get it, but it's, it's pretty tough. Nice. I really wanted magic there. It's one of those things where I, I would probably have to, like, play the chapter a bunch of times and, like, iron out a really coherent strategy to get it in order to feel comfortable. Which, at the moment, I, I obviously do not have. Okay, so Warren's taking kind of a weird route, but it's actually okay. Because if I recruit Warren, only one of the uh, soldiers can attack me, so let's go ahead and do that. Hey, buddy. Yeah, because you two can't reach me, so that's perfect. Oh, I didn't bring Melissa. Shit, I always forget, uh... I'm so used to not having enough units that I always forget when I actually, like, can bring a lot of units. Or have too many. Wait, does that guy have 10 speed? I don't double? Oh. Luke, can you get his speed so you can start doubling? Okay. <laughs> he did not listen. Okay. Let's go ahead and heal you. This guy should attack Luke, which will be okay. He can survive, and then damn, that range is a lot higher than I was expecting. I suppose twenty-three minus thirteen. Yeah, I, I can take the hits as long as I'm not in range of the calves. Should be okay.
Wait, the AI never like screws me over here, does it? Question mark? Because it could. Okay, no, we're good. <laughs> that was one of those like using the AI situations because if all three soldiers had attacked France, he would have died. Or maybe not, depending on how much attack the other guy had. But because, uh, you know, the other guy has way less defense, I expected him to get attacked, but it always makes me a little nervous. The promos I tried the map once. Trouble with the thief. Oh, the thief. Um, I don't know. Maybe we just got unlucky last time, or maybe it was just, maybe it was just positioning. I'm not really sure. I mean, I did try it last time. I, I could have tried again this time, but I wanted to make Aaron an archer. I feel like that could be better. But yeah, I'm not really sure. Oh, could we lost another run? <laughs> always, Joshua. Always. Say what you will about my Fire Emblem uh, expertise, but man, I am amazing at losing uh, Iron Man's. Choke the edge. Yeah, our, our avatar is busted. So we're doing France this time. Yeah, we have 15 strength, 15 speed, and 13 defense with 32 health. I mean, to be fair, our, our avatar is like always pretty busted, but yeah, he's he's exceptional this time, that's for sure. Is a talent? See, that's what I'm saying. People don't seem to understand that, but you know, we understand how difficult it is to lose these ma this many runs this consistently. I don't get doubled, right? Yeah, we, we can get a little bit of a rapier going on here. And then what? There's one more cab over here, but his range is pretty bad. His normal friends, yeah. Pretty much just friends. So what else you do? Especially when it comes to this game, I am a pro at losing this game. To be fair, I call a little bit bullshit on our last failure, because I there was a thief that on my last playthrough destroyed a house, but this time he decided to attack me. So there's a little bit of bullshit, but and I got a little bit of bullshit on the on the George chapter too. I'll, I'll take a little bit. But this is the run, I, I believe. I believe. So. I'm just gonna go grab the ranges of the, uh... I'm pretty sure we're still pretty far away from these guys, but just in case. Still pretty far away. Always want to make sure. Make sure seven and then die. I, that's progress! I, I would take that. I would take that. You know what I was thinking about doing is um, I was thinking about making a different file where I don't Iron Man the game. I just like I play it on Lunatic, but I play it like normally and then not like on stream, but just whenever I had time, I could like play the chapters and then I, it would give me a chance to like sort of learn the game so I don't have to like play all the chapters for the first time, you know, on the Iron Man. But I feel like that would kind of defeat the purpose of the Iron Man a little bit. I don't know. But then I was thinking that a lot of the older Fire Emblem games that I play, I already have a lot of map knowledge, so maybe it wouldn't. But that was something I was thinking about. Lunatic reverse when? Uh, let's finish Lunatic and then I'll, uh, and then I'll just, <laughs> I'll decide on that. To be fair, because I did download the, uh, the DLC stuff, or not the DLC stuff, but because this file has already beaten the game once, we can do Lunatic Reverse. So we do have that option now, but yeah, that's uh... I think that's a little over my head at the moment. Just a little bit. But one day I would like to finish Lunatic Reverse. I only have seven- wow, not bringing... Putting Mend on Melissia and then not bringing Melissia and having a seven use Roddy as my only healer was probably not the smartest decision I've ever made in my life. In fact, I would argue it's pretty far from the smartest. Maybe one of the dumbest, in fact. Do I have another heal in the convoy, maybe? I do, okay, that's good at least. Alright, we're gonna need to sit here and get healed for a second. 
LTC, nothing else. If I ever did Lunatic Reverse, I'd probably just do it, like, probably wouldn't do it as an Iron Man. I'd probably just do it, like, normally. From the day. It sounds pretty insane. But yeah, I'd probably just do it, like, normally. Maybe, maybe just, like... But again, that would, that would be after I completed Lunatic. Yeah, it sounds pretty nutty. God, I love bringing only one healer. I'm so glad I did this. Okay, so... So you can get past the fort. Okay, only you two can get to the fort, though. Only one can get to the fort. Can I take both your hits? Silver Lance, Silver Axe, 26. So minus 13. He's gonna have Weapon Triangle here, but not here. So that's, oh god, so that's, I guess I only take 13. Yeah, it's not actually that bad. If I go like here. Yeah, that's probably okay. I need to heal friends, obviously, but. Let me just wait a turn and I can heal. Uh, what's his face? The only problem is gonna be this Wyvern. He's gonna end up kind of in no man's land. Maybe I can aggro him like to the left here with like, how fast are you? 26 speed, or 26 uh, attack, not 26 speed. Okay, only 11. So maybe we go like you over there and then, so Aaron, so eight might, I just wanna see if I can kill him. Eight might would be what, 24, 24 plus 10. So it'd be 25, and then how much do you deal? 16 minus... I feel like that could work. Maybe I could even send Cecile over there just to make sure. This would be one less that I had to deal with. Who loves group AI? Oh, I do, I do. No idea. Okay, everybody else kind of gang up here. Hopefully I still have enough stuff here to kill the Wyverns. And France can definitely live this, right? Like, I'm pretty sure. He'll have weapon more damage because of Weapon Triangle. So it'll actually be 25 and 26. So that's like 13 and 12. Yeah, I should be good. I should be good. So just stay out of the range of these guys. So yeah, go like here. With the uh, Steel Lance. Can actually move up a little bit with the Archers as well, which is nice. Oh, and then you need to go here. And this, let me just make sure, this is the only guy that can get there, right? Wait. Oh, it's because I'm looking at everybody's range. Okay, hopefully we're good. Hopefully I didn't do anything too stupid here. Thankfully our friends is quite strong. Kind of a bad miss. I don't know if that'll matter, but it might. I guess we'll find out. Yeah, since the seal over here, just so I didn't have to like hope for another cord hit to be able to kill that guy. But maybe, maybe that was unnecessary. Maybe I could use the seal over here. Okay, that's probably enough damage. That that hit probably won't matter. Oh, that's really bad. That's really bad. Okay, that is so bad. I did not anticipate that. Yeah, that is really, really bad. I'm not, I can't reach any of them. Oh, that is so horrendous. Wow, okay. Yeah, that's, that's really bad. That there is uh, really not good. <laughs> Fuck. That is the downside with going with that strategy. That's so weird though, because last time, I guess I had him somewhere else, because last time I had Aaron do this exact same thing and they didn't aggro this direction, so I'm a little surprised that they even did this, to be completely honest, but can't think about that now. Now we got to deal with this. Well, we can at least kill the one, and Aaron does have nine defense, so maybe I can get him to attack somebody else. Cecile and Cord, I think, will die, but I guess as long as Cecile and Cord die and nobody else, it's okay. To see having zero defense is actually kind of nice because she'll almost assuredly die.
Okay, so Cecile will just run over here because I want them to lure that way. Then, who has my lowest defense? I guess Drog has three. 28 attack. That is a lot of attack. I'll grant you, sir. That is quite a bit of attack. So... I just want to let Drog die here. I mean, I don't want to, but... There might not be much of an option. Damn, I must have... I must have had Eren, like, more out this direction last time or something. I don't know. I'm surprised that they aggroed that way. Because, again, I basically did the same strategy last time and that didn't happen, so... I don't know. Roddy has two defense? Okay, maybe we let Roddy die here. Because, no offense, but I don't really care about Roddy. Uh, do you want to kill? Sure. Maybe I just wasn't, like, far enough up. Because I don't know if I necessarily got to the fort. I might have been a little bit further back from the fort. Maybe that's what it was. Okay, and then let them attack Roddy. Well, I guess Roddy has the same amount. Of, I shouldn't have put Roddy on the four, because he now has the same amount of defense as Drog. But Roddy also gets doubled, so they might want to attack Roddy anyways. Okay, everybody else back up. Hopefully I can kill next turn. Yeah, do this, I guess. And does anybody have a Vulnery? I don't know for sure who's going to die next turn. I hope it's Roddy and Cecile. It's definitely Cecile. They're always going to kill Cecile, right? She has zero defense. Sorry, Cecile. Honestly, I don't care that much. And then it should be Roddy. Okay, perfect. Okay, this really isn't that bad. These these two are pretty useless, to be honest. Man, yeah, that was really wonky. I, uh, I guess if I want to use that strategy again, I'll have to think about it a little bit differently. Or just let uh, Roddy and Cecile die again, <laughs> which I guess is an option. Rip Christmas calves? Yeah, that's true. You know what's funny is that we'll probably get out of this chapter without using the, um, the super bow that we forged even one time. Do not do that. I want to get this kill for friends. It may not seem like getting friends uh, levels is that crucial, but... He is almost always going to be my first uh, Master Seal user, so I actually like getting him experience quite a bit. Nice. Okay. Who am I using this try to get their one beat again? True! Oh, I, I like the way you think, R2. I like the way you think. That is accurate, of course. We'll never have to do this again. I like it. Because we're going to do reverse, that's it, that's it. Although the strategies might be different for, rever for reverse, we don't know. That's got to be it, right? I believe. I have, I have so much faith. I have so much faith. Let's get Ketria, nice little kill here. She means we can kill with Martha or whatever, it doesn't matter. And we should be good to go. So we've lost... I think those are only two deaths, right? It's Roddy and Cecile so far. Honestly, Cecile dying this early is probably beneficial to me because it means I won't spend all that stupid time I did last time training her. Very unnecessarily. I believe when Paula lives. To be fair, Paula lived last time. I, I, I shouldn't say this, but I'm pretty sure that Paula will live like every single time. As long as I don't mess up. Thank you, Matt. Thank you. I appreciate it. Oh, this is actually the chapter. Okay. All right, um, who do we want to bring? I want Linde, I want... Gordon's still better than Ryan, right? Yeah. I want Melissa. I think that's it, because Drog is just better than Warren. I think keeping Aaron as a sniper probably makes sense here, because we're fighting a lot of Wyverns. Two Mr. Rick level ups, crits, and knowing enemy movement order. Jesus Christ. I feel like we're getting a little bit better at understanding the, like, AI and order and stuff, but yeah, no, that's, that's insane. It's just like me, for real, for real. <laughs> yeah, no, that sounds ridiculous. Those are the kind of ones... I think... Wasn't there another mode that Seafarer was talking about in that same light at some point? I'm, I don't really remember, but... Yeah, the ones where you have to, like, rig level ups and it's more insane like that. 
Like, Lunatic is ridiculous, and obviously I haven't beaten it, so I can't speak for how it'll be going forward, but this I enjoy. Like, like this seems doable, at least. That kind of stuff is a little, a little too much for me. He's supposed to reverse. Oh, yeah, I suppose that makes sense, because he wouldn't get attacked back. Yeah, these guys are too fast for um, Luke. Does Luke want to be anything else? Again, I think keeping Aaron as a sniper is probably a good idea. You just get big chunks. I can't become, like, does Horseman have any more speed? Horseman is just ass. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. I guess maybe maybe Warren is actually better than Draw because he used to use a Steel Bow, but... Eh. Eh. Uh, yeah, does Luke want to be... I guess Luke could be a hunter. Maybe that's useful. Horseman does have a lot of movement. Yeah, that's true. That is true. It feels weird to just make... Oh, I guess I already have enough hunters. Yeah, keep Luke the way he is. If he gets one more speed, he can actually double the uh, wyverns, which is kind of cool. And we've already forged, so we don't need to do that. I don't think we really need to do much else here. We should be good to go. Friends level 14? Okay. So we have this chapter and the next chapter, and I want to give friends... I'd like to get him to like 17 at the at the least. That would be great. But yeah, I think we're good. I think we're good to go. Okay, so this chapter Honestly, this chapter is probably the the chapter that I hate the most. Um in the uh in the early game here because it's it's just so much walking. So that's true. If, if I really wanted Luke to become a hunter, that would have been a really good idea. I don't know if I want him that desperately, but that, that's a good thought. There's like a ton of walking and a ton of like trying to get the wyverns to like move in a certain way that you can actually attack them and then like hoping bows hit. It's it's a uh, it's just a lot. Oh, you mean G Gordon to change? Yeah, I always forget that like Hunter is like slightly better than. The... Yeah, that's that's a good point. I didn't think about that. So Paula kills here. Yeah, that's a good point. I should have looked at that. I should have. Taking a peek. And unfortunately, France cannot use uh, silver here. You know, in retrospect, I should probably focus on the early game, like getting him to silver a little bit more, but I don't think it's like that important that he gets to use silver. It is kind of nice, but. I know I say this every time, but that scares the shit out of me when that uh, Wyvern spawns, because I always think a Wyvern is uh, about to attack me. Thankfully, they are not. Now we go here, and we're gonna kill the cab that spawns. Yeah, maybe I should have just like taken Warren and then killed them or something. Miklas, you should scare you. That's fair. Although Miklas is actually a unit in this game, isn't he? He should scare you. Okay, now maybe luring out this wyvern is just a bad idea. Although I suppose Paula needs to come over this location at some point anyway, so. We kind of need to lure him out. It's just something we gotta do. We actually have uh, Militia now, which is nice. The healers in this game, I think, actually have like pretty decent um, growths, at least in comparison to the last game, which is kind of cool. Okay, yeah, this guy moves, which is great. Yeah, 
Yeah, so the thing about aggroing that wyvern is that it aggroes all of these wyverns, but again, that wyvern, like, Paula needs to eventually end up in that wyvern's range, so I don't think it's, I don't think it's really, like, that bad to do. Technically, you don't have to use Paula's, uh, vulnerabilities there. Um, because she should have enough health to be okay, but, you know, I do. Okay, how do I want to do this? I kind of want to loot to get this kill, though I did just say that we should be training friends. Let's recruit board. That's a good place to start. Ah, <laughs> oh, we can have Luke get it. Whatever. Oh, Luke does double. Oh, I didn't think he doubled any of these guys. That guy must have only had 10 speed. Well, probably. Yeah, probably. I could probably promote him right now and he'd be perfectly fine. It's just like, I, I know that I want to promote Franz by that point, so... It does worry me a little bit, depending on his stats. But Paula can just, like, go sit in the water or whatever. I'll keep vulnerating, but again, I don't think you need to. Um, are still chapter fucking three? Yeah. Well, what's funny is that we already have a unit that's level 14 that can, yeah, use it pretty effectively. But yeah, this game's great. Okay, everybody needs to back up. Ooh, Luke is gonna be in... I guess he's only gonna be in one of their range. It's kind of unfortunate, because I don't get the damage from... Uh... Oh, I guess Aaron is gonna be as well. Well, Aaron, I suppose I could... 26. Minus 19. Hold on, let me just see these two's range. Okay, I guess I could do this. It's not... Alright, I suppose you can still... Yeah, you can still just go here. 11 speed. I guess I could do this, just for the damage. It's a little awkward. <laughs> Early promote often, that's true. Is that manager at the job you <laughs> the job you really like? <laughs> Fair enough. So I think we can actually leave friends out here to take on these two, because this guy will definitely attack one of these three. So, friends can fight the other three, which is kind of nice. Unless the AI decides not to cooperate, but the AI seems to be cooperating a lot more lately, so I think we should be okay. I would be shocked if they didn't attack the other guy. Wait. Okay, I don't know if the AI would have cooperated there. That was a really good miss, but I'm not really sure what would have happened. I wonder if they would have killed him or not. I don't know. We might have needed that miss. I'm not really sure. Those situations are really awkward because... On the one hand, like, it should work because this guy should attack one of these three. And then these two attack friends and then we're okay. But if these two move first, then I don't know if the AI, like, sees that they can kill friends and now they move differently. I don't know how that works. It's a little sketchy, I should probably stop doing it. We did it last chapter too, and again, got away with it, but... I'm not 100% sure that it's the best thing to be doing. It might be a little too risky for an Iron Man. Very nice level up, okay. Love to see that. Um, but it worked last chapter and it worked here. Never give up promotions. <laughs> it sees kills and priorities. But it's weird, because it, it doesn't always see the kill, right? Because in, in the last chapter, I set up a similar situation to this, and yet it didn't prioritize the kill. Like, if the soldiers had all attacked friends, I think it depends on the order at which they move. I don't really know. The AI in this game continues to uh, perplex me. <laughs> Everybody gets a promotion. Uh, let's catch who I want to kill here, and then I guess I'll give it to friends. Yeah, I don't know. It, it's weird. I, I'm not really sure. It's one of those things where I, I probably just shouldn't be fucking with it, and I probably shouldn't give... I probably shouldn't present the chance that, um, that we die. 
Velcro's are sent to Yeah, sh Shaded for Velcro. Yeah. It's one of those things where occasionally it comes up and it's cool and you're like, oh, hey, it mattered. But you probably shouldn't rely on it. Yeah, I, I should just not take those kind of risks. I should have just had like only one unit could get to Franz, or even two, but not all three. That was just unnecessary. She's he has six magic, by the way. <laughs> I don't know why, but he does. Seems unnecessary to me, but you know what can I say? Yeah, shade shade is wacky. Shade it shade doesn't make much sense. Put you in as a factor. Yeah, Shade and Sh that's exactly it. Shade and Provoke are like, they're cool and it's cool to try to use them at times. And putting like, like for example, when we did our playthrough, I had Provoke on uh, Braum and I think it did matter a few different times and it was cool, but it's hard to ever like rely on it, you know? Levin Sword build? I mean, at this point, <laughs> with six magic, he has two more magic than Linde. <laughs> <laughs> Shade of Vulcan would have worked perfectly then, yeah. Probably. Yeah, then, then literally no one would attack them ever. That is probably the case. Okay, next order of business is killing these Wyverns. And I believe that's going to aggro the Wyverns from the, uh, from the one area. Sure, keep giving friends kills. And there's to be like no options. Wacky OP. Yeah, that's the thing, right? Is you can't, you can't just. I think you, you can't just have them like always tell you how the enemy's gonna move, because then it then it just becomes like super easy. Like once you once you fully understand exactly how the AI is gonna react, other than crits, there's no like, there's nothing like different that's gonna happen, you know. And I think that's really that's really bad for gameplay. But but then yeah, you have things like that where it's just. Where the game says one thing and then what actually happens is can often be something else. Alright, I'm just gonna wait here for a second and I'm gonna heal up with Melissa before we proceed. Because if you either can't counter or have Woman Triangle disadvantage or maybe both. To the absolute naturally. Interesting. That's a really interesting. I guess I never thought about like how they programmed it, but that's that's really interesting interesting look at like under the hood as to how like how the game treats those units. It would make sense. Okay, so basically I just don't want to be in that guy's range. I'm willing to take those two hits. Oh, your guys' range overlaps? No, I guess if I go up here, it doesn't. So I guess I should probably go up there. Okay, let's see that one. Friends should be able to survive these two. I mean, this is like 25. Yeah. Friends has so much defense and HP and stuff. Should be just fine. I'll put Aaron up there. Aaron has a little bit extra movement, actually. So. Um, and then we should be good to go here. When it comes to, to Shinon. I mean, if you're, if you're talking about like how, how useful it is because he's an archer, maybe not, but provoking um, Radiant Dawn very much matters on Shinon. Like they, and granted, they'll attack him anyways, right? Because he's an archer. Yeah, exactly. Standard archer bait tactics. But yeah, they love attacking him in that game. This is taking to be a bit. Yeah, exactly. Five grit. Yeah, so it's like, so it just makes them, and I think that's a good way to look at provoke. It makes them or shade. It makes them more likely or less likely to, likely to be attacked, but not like guaranteed. Uh, I'm gonna go to the bathroom really quick, and then we will. Uh,
Okay. I am back. Three years and three houses. Oh, that's true. I haven't played three houses in so long, but yeah, three houses like shows you. Does it just show you like if you can't? It doesn't show you if you're gonna get targeted, right? It just shows you if you can get targeted. I can't remember. Choose enemy ranges altogether. Yeah, then there's that. I feel like that's just unnecessary. Like, can you imagine removing enemy ranges in this game with how, uh... I guess it wouldn't be that bad, because you're... Honestly, you already have to kind of follow enemies to figure out how far they can move, because they're, like, off the screen, but... Yeah, I don't really like that they did that in Radio Dawn. For sure. You know, it might have just been unnecessary to have, uh, crafted the, um... What do you call it? The, uh... The bow, because I really haven't needed it yet. I think I'll probably need it later, so I think it is still useful, but... Yeah, I haven't really needed that bow at all yet. Okay, so... I don't think I can get you guys to overlap ranges. I think I'm just going to fight the one. Oh shoot, no, I want to see your range. Oh, it does change you. Or it does show you the, like, intense. It's usually accurate. Okay. Yeah, that's kind of bad. I don't really like that. I would I would agree. That's a little much. I don't know if I want that much information. And that's the thing about, like, AI targeting in general is, like, it is really powerful and useful to understand, but it does take a little bit of the fun away from, like, the randomness of enemies moving, you know? Ooh, I like defense. Hotels with legs. Yeah, that'd be nice. Cock. <laughs> the goat. Yeah, that would be nice. Okay, what do you have? An axe? Right. Yeah, I'll just hit one. I don't think not hitting them all is going to be that big of a deal. <coughs> Excuse me. We have all these archers. Ready to go. The problem is if the if the wyverns like end up in the water, that can always be really annoying. But I think we can figure it out. And then we should be in pretty good shape once these guys die. Rages. Yeah, you can't see in the yeah the NES and yeah they're in that really awkward situation. But I think so. I said that forging the bow wasn't useful, but in this situation it is actually pretty useful because killing that guy would have been pretty annoying. Good no miss there. That would have been really awkward. Okay, let's get Luca kill here. we get tile count. <laughs> Trusted, Kaga might have trusted a little too much. He might have had a little bit too much faith in his audience, if we're being honest. I love Kaga. I feel like he didn't have too much faith in me. Maybe he did. But Kaga might have had a little bit too much faith in, in his audience, to be honest. If you equipped in strong units, yeah. UK, yeah, I'm good, I'm good. I am good. Uh, who wants this kill? Linda. Again, I kind of want to give kills to friends, but it's probably better to spread them around. Jesus Christ, okay, just fucking every goddamn stat. I'm not going to say no to that. Audience going back to ratio? Yeah. Yeah, I, I think... I feel like there are a lot of people that really like Kaga and his sort of game design, and, and I'm one of them. I, You know, I really like those games, but... Uh, yeah, that that's just... I think that's just never going to work. Can I go to jail? Oh, did he? I know there was... The only thing that I can think of is that I, I think... Didn't Kaga get sued or something because the tearing or the Saga games were, like, so similar to Fire Emblem? I don't know if he went to jail or anything, though. There she was a game, yeah. I guess I can feel that spite. Yeah, I, I love Thracia. I love how many different, like, new things it tried... I love how it feels as a, as a player, but basically everything that Thracia, like, everything that I, that I like about Thracia is not good for, like, general audiences. You know what I mean? Like, it doesn't, it, it, of course it's not going to do well, like, it's a nightmare. <laughs> Type of Nintendo's is no good. 
Reason as to why? Okay. So you need Fire Emblem. Well, no, he didn't. He didn't get sued. I don't even know if he got sued. That's. I think he did, but I, I could be wrong. He didn't get sued when he made um, Fire Emblem. He got sued when he made his like saga games because he didn't own the property. Or yeah, so he just. So they were too similar to Fire Emblem, which I don't even know if he got sued. I, I thought I read something about that once, but I, I could be wrong. I'm no expert on Kaga. So then confirmed is that he was working on Turing Saga during Thracia's production at the height. Oh, of the, yeah, okay. Yeah, that would, okay, I can see that. Turing Saga was so similar to Nintendo. Did it for copyright. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's what, that's what I thought. Possibly reusing stuff, yeah, which is obviously extremely problematic from Nintendo's perspective. Her shoe was finished, yeah. That, that makes sense. That's yeah. I didn't know he was doing it. I, I knew that he got like a copyright thing because it was so similar. I didn't know that he was working on it like while he was doing Thracia. Now I've heard that the Saga games are very similar. Well, obviously they're Kaga's design, so they're similar to. You know, Thracia type design. So I've always wanted to try those. And I think if this channel ever gets to the point where I've, I've completed all the Fire Emblem games, I may do the Saga games, but that's a while down the road, of course. But I would like to try those. So I do like Kaga's game design quite a bit. Fun on. Oh, yeah, that's, <laughs> that's funny. I was just saying that. Yeah, I, I do want to, but. I mean, generally speaking, as like a plan, after I'm done with every single Fire Emblem game, I would like to do the Saga games, but, you know, that's so far down the road that who knows, who knows what, what, uh, this channel or, or my, or the world is gonna look like, you know? But yeah, I, I would like to. I certainly have no, uh, apprehension to doing it. I, I do, I like Kaga's game design quite a bit, and I've, uh, I've heard those games are a lot of fun, so... for to make games like a series he made well i think he made it but he didn't own it right like he didn't own the fire emblem copyright you know like nintendo probably did so you can't just go make yeah because the... exactly because the copyright and patent belongs to nintendo yeah which i mean you, you could talk about how bullshit that is that it was his baby and you know that's another conversation but yeah he didn't he didn't own like the fire emblem copyright so There's a rapier, Christmas cap, edgy mercenary, damsel in distress, magic girl. Perfect! This sounds great! Sounds like Fire Emblem. I know, um, Seafarer, who I, I don't think is here today, but he he's really into it. He's talked about it a bunch of times, and he really wanted me to play it. Which, again, I, I'd totally be down. Those games, I think, are pretty different, so I, I might... Well, I don't know. That's, uh, something for later, I guess. So it's just the games are similar. Yeah. Or Draconic. Yeah, I don't know. Think it's each other. That's a good point. That's a good point. Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know how much like of that you have to prove, right? I'm not a lawyer. Like I don't know how I don't I don't know how close the game has to be in order for the, the suit to be successful. Like I, I'm not really sure the suit, I guess. Using stuff from yeah, that's the other problem, right? And I know Geo or somebody mentioned that earlier that as he was working with Thracia, he was using assets from Thracia. That you can't do if that if he was truly doing that. I'm using the resources because property is a company. Yeah, I I don't know. Again, that's way over my head. I, I have no clue. His names, not the mechanics. Yeah. Two fur clones. Yeah, that's the other thing, right? You don't hear about a lot of that stuff, but they probably they probably do sue a lot more than we think. You don't hear about that kind of stuff unless it's like huge. Okay, the final part of this chapter is actually kind of annoying because these guys have group AI, as does everyone in this game, and you need to like lure them out in a particular way. But I, I think there is a place you can go where only two can reach you. Yeah, if you go right here, only two can reach. Let me just make sure I survive. 27, I have 13 defense, that's 14. Uh, so 14 plus eight is 22, and then 20 minus 13 is seven. So that's 29, yeah, I should survive. 
So basically, I just need to not be in range of that guy, so I need to go right here. Okay, we should be good. Yeah, the final part of this chapter is a little annoying. You need a unit that can take all of that uh, attack, which... Thankfully, our main lord is good enough. Or not our main lord. I always say our main lord. Our avatar unit is good enough. I could actually give... I give, could give them something, somebody else to attack, but... I think we're strong enough to where we don't need to do that. As long as we survive. Do we one at a time? Oh, it definitely makes more sense. And it makes the game more difficult. I do like it, but there are times where it can get a little, uh, a little tedious. We got weapon names like Shram and Pillum. <laughs> are, are those from, uh, from the Saga games? <laughs> now those are some weapons I can get behind. Jesus. Tram and Pillum. Okay, this next turn is going to be a little tedious because now there's kind of too many to attack. So, I don't, well, they are pretty weak. Where's Julian? Okay, so I can't recruit Merrick, but, or, or Mathis, but kind of who cares. Uh, I can't heal him is the problem. And I also can't put my flyers in position. Um, I could... Yeah, everyone's kind of out of position. I guess Luke could kill that guy. Maybe this could work. If, like, you kill here... But then I gotta make sure that Mathis can't kill you. I guess I could aura this guy? <laughs> That's my super weapon. It's a 13, so he only deals 3 damage at most. It's either 13 or 10. Actually, 3 damage is enough, right? That's actually totally fine. Yeah. Just kill him. We should be good here. The many personal weapon for someone, which is auto revive on death. What the fuck? That's insane. Auto revive on death is, is pretty ridiculous. It's one of the crazier things I've heard. Because how are we killing these guys? I don't want to do with Linde, because she'll die. I guess I have to do with Aaron. Yeah, so if Aaron kills this one... I think we're okay here, unless something really wacky happens. And then we'll have Luke kill the other one. So you go... And he does need to heal, otherwise he'll die. And then Luke kills this one. I could also just kill Mathis. Like, we don't really need Mathis, but I'll keep him alive. Why not? And I'm assuming Luke's okay, like he takes 13, and then Mathis deals like... Yeah, Mathis is just really weak. I mean, Mathis can't do anything to anyone. <laughs> oh, Mathis. Oh, I can recruit Mathis. Oh, fuck it, let's just recruit Mathis then. Okay, I don't know what... I'm just losing my mind, apparently. I thought I couldn't. Well, don't do that, because you're going to die to the boss. This looks just like Tearing Saga's main character. Wait, now I gotta look up... Tearing Saga character. Runin and Holmes. Oh yeah, yeah, I can see that. In fact, a lot of these characters look very similar too. Although to be fair, when you're using like that art style, it's tough to make them look that different, but yeah. Looks very similar to Leaf. Eleven sword, bear weapons. Yeah, it's interesting. Um, okay, we do need to worry about killing this boss, but I don't think that'll be a problem. He'll probably attack Julian. That's fine. That is fine. Unfortunately, there's no armor slayer or anything at this stage, so... Kinda gotta just whack this boss a bunch until he falls over. Which should be okay. Holmes is a thief lord? Oh really? That's kinda cool. Kaga did it first. <laughs> That's kinda cool. I didn't know that. Uh, I'd like to get that for Luke, so let's just do this. Characters in- Yeah, I mean, Fire Emblem 1, yeah, literally features characters. And I mean literally who have the same, uh, the same face, so... 
We finished Tearing Saga. Man, every time people talk about it, I really want to play it, but... One day. One day we'll play it. Uh, I should probably heal you. He does a lot of damage, though. I definitely think this is the strongest avatar we've had so far. He has 17 attack, which is ridiculous. Oh, actually, if we want the Gaiden chapter... Hold on. I actually need to finish this pretty quick. Normally, we don't need to worry about Gaiden chapters at all, because I've kept the units alive throughout the prologue. But we actually lost one unit in the prologue, which means... We need to finish this chapter by turn 38, which seems like a lot, but it's currently turn 30, so... That is actually something I need to worry about a little bit. Funny enough. Do I have a Vulnerate? I think we'll be okay, but it is something that we need to uh, worry about a little bit. 32, yeah, at least according to Fire Emblem WOD, it's 38. Ma Maniac is 33. To return to the lunatic, I know, a ton. For this chapter, it's kind of necessary, right? Because this chapter is like so long and winding, but yeah. It is a lot of turns. Which is story. Yeah, I I've always really, one of the things that I really love about Kaga is how much he mix his story with gameplay. Like, it doesn't always work that well, especially in harder difficulties, and I don't know if it's everyone's cup of tea, but like, this game in particular, like, more the original Fire Emblem 3, not this game, but... The amount that this game, like, mixes story and gameplay to make some just truly bizarre chapters is... really, really cool. But... Obviously, when you're playing this version of the game, and you're playing on, you know, the hardest difficulty, things, um... Things start to get a little wacky. I skip all the story, that's fair. That's fair. It is still cool though, like it, it makes a lot of it makes a lot of the chapters more interesting than I think they would be otherwise. You mean a Final Fantasy, really? I I always listen to the story the first time I play the games, but I guess I've never read this game's story, but I have read Fire Emblem 3 story, so I feel like I understand it pretty well. I agree the chapters where stuff happens is pretty good. See? Pretty good much of that anymore. Luigi understands. Clearly. Uh, okay, do we want to do this with Luke? I feel like I may be overtraining Luke a little bit, but he's, he's my little boy. Alright, if he misses, it's okay. Luke has 29 HP, by the way, which is kind of ridiculous. You little shitter. I put in all that effort. I love you. And you, don't give, you don't give me any of my love in return. Alright, Luke is dead to me. We will be killing Luke on the next chapter. He is actually useless. I've decided. Who wants to kill? Probably Katria. He returns none of my love. Okay, are you gonna miss twice now? <laughs> okay, okay. Master Escape. Yeah, the, man the Master Escape is a really good example. Like, in Thracia it works, but if you had, like, a Thracia hard mode... Oh my god, the Master Escape would be... Terror's <laughs> going out of our deck dish. <laughs> <laughs> I have noticed that you have VG fan. Yeah, that, that's usually their thing. Let him live his life. Yeah, let him miss if he wants to miss. He needs to make his own mistakes. <laughs> chapter 3, yeah, from 12. Too many boots with that movement. That's true, his movement is extreme. No, I like a lot of these chapters. I think I think for Fire Emblem 3, Fire Emblem 3 is like so good. When when you're playing Fire Emblem 3 on Lunatic mode, like we're currently doing, essentially, then things start to deteriorate a little bit. But obviously you can make the argument that the game wasn't meant to be played like this, so. Boots increase the flyers movement anyways? Yeah, I don't know. That's a good question. That's a good question. Kaga. Okay, I think we're good to go. I don't want to buy anything. I've done all the houses. Oh shit, we're good to go. oh shit, what turn is it? I'm like sitting here. I was actually considering healing a bunch, but that is not a good idea. Yeah, I don't know. I do not know. I do not know. It doesn't seem to make much sense, does it? Okay, well, I think I will end the stream here for today. Um... You know, I know I say this every time, I feel great about our progress, but it's the next couple of chapters that have given us the headaches, so... I won't say that we're making really good progress until we can get through those. 
Um, who do we do have some deaths. I want to add to the death counter. So that would be... Um, Cecile and Roddy are deceased. Kill Mathis before war never changes. <laughs> That's true, I am just doing the, the chapter incorrectly, that is very true. Horseshoes, that's true, could be horseshoes. Roddy. Sorry, Roddy. Sorry, Roddy. Yeah, I, sp I suppose actually that does make sense, right? You just give them the shoes. I don't know if that increases movement. I don't know what horseshoes do, I guess, now that I think about it. I guess out of horses it would increase movement. Well, in any case, thank you all very much for watching. I appreciate it. Um, I'll be back tomorrow, and we will hopefully not be starting a new uh, a new uh, playthrough, but we'll see. N tomorrow we'll be seeing... Um, so this chapter is not a problem, but the chapter after this and then the chapter after that were our two failures. So hopefully we can get through those. That would be ideal. Because you're the speed wings. That's true. That should, get, that should really give them more movement when you think about it. When you think about it. Friday stream? Yeah, 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 I'll stream, I'll be streaming Friday as well, so... Wait, Friday's not tomorrow, is it? Am I crazy? No, no, it's Wednesday, it's Wednesday. Yeah, we'll, we'll be doing um, tomorrow and then Friday. Unless something really dramatic happens and I uh, I don't want to stream Friday, but yeah, I'll be doing Friday again, so... So, yeah. I just forgot what day it was. No, you're good, you're good. I always forget what day it is. But yeah, I mean, to answer your question, I, I will be doing a Friday stream, so... But, uh, but yeah, also a tomorrow stream. So join me then. Enjoy your nights. Thank you for watching. And uh, yeah, I'll see you tomorrow.